and shit. All right, should we get started? Okay. Hello, welcome to Hold My Popcorn. I'm Max Healy in Nashville. Timster couldn't make it in today, but we do have Big Willie style. Big old Billiam William. Billy Willie Bill Dooley's on the show. How are you, Bill? Staring at me. Super intense. <laughs> <laughs> that was just that was great. I was enjoying every minute of it. There's a lot of rhyming with Billy and Willie, and none of it was um, was calling me a squib. So that's pretty sweet. I mean, I'm feeling. I know Billy, it has a, squibby Willie. There you go. Yeah. Well, mm-hmm. you know what? Okay. I'll, still, that was fine. Thank you, Max. Wonderful. Well, Happy to be here. Good. And for the first time in a while, we're welcoming back John Anoshak to the show. How you doing, buddy? Good, man. Happy to be back. Wearing a, a mustache out of hatred because I had to <laughs> shave it off to go back to school. Don't ask any questions. I'm really bitter about it. <laughs> it's me, Mario. <laughs> yes, and I look like fucking Mario. <laughs> so we're going to call this uh, this co-host duel the odd couple. It's going to be interesting to see how this goes. I'm going to like it. Very intrigued. Mm. Anyways. A lot of one-on-one time for me and John without the Tim buffer to, to break <laughs> it through. Yeah, mm-hmm. <laughs> yeah we like to refer to it as a rock and hard place. So, like, <laughs> Who's the rock and who's the hard place? I'm hard. Mm. I mean, doesn't matter. <laughs> we're all hard. No, that's right. That's correct. Mm. Mm. Anyways, we finally reached the Yellow Brick Road in this 007 debut series. As uh, we've covered every actor's debut film as Bond, but in reverse order. And the last one to do is the first one. As we watched The Granddaddy, the one that started it all in 1962's Dr. No, starring Sean Connery as James Bond. And I think this uh, this series has been going on for about as long as the entire Bond uh, Bond run, too, it, right? It feels like it. it yeah. I, I was <laughs> thinking about it the other day. I've been doing the series for a third of the year. <laughs> <laughs> this is going for four. A yeah. <laughs> Uh, also, great timing for us to uh, conclude the Bond series as all the fucking Bond movies are now available for free on Amazon Prime. That was that was good timing. That worked great well. timing. I timed it right to come back for this episode. I wasn't paying for this shit. You kidding me? Hell no. We were finding like free websites to use. Like Preble is doing these like super like shitty blurry like images of Bond movies. Just any way to not spend four dollars on fucking like seven different movies. <laughs> On the, on, the, on the bright side, though, like, I have watched several more of these Bond movies since then. So, Nikki watched this one with me, and she enjoyed it. So, then we immediately watched From Russia with Love, and then we watched uh, Goldfinger last night. Yeah, so. I mean, I gotta say, like, I, I haven't been, like, I haven't been in love with these movies, but I've I've enjoyed every single one of them. You know what I mean? And, like, now that, if, if I had to pay for them, no, absolutely not. But they're free on Prime? Fuck it. I'm going to, I think I'm going to just like, you know, any night that, that Sam falls asleep, putting the kids to bed, I'm just going to put on a Bond movie, the next one. Cause it makes it easy too. And you don't have to think about it. That's my favorite kind of TV. The kind of TV yeah. you don't have to think about. <laughs> it's definitely a mindless movie and it's a great nap time movie. Yeah. Hangover <laughs> movies. The this, this series is made for just Saturday afternoons on the couch. <laughs> anyway. So before we get into it, um, what were your initial thoughts on Connery as Bond? Really good. Like really good. It, it's it's it kind of becomes clear. I feel like watching it backwards was interesting because it now like it looks in retrospect like everyone was trying in some way to be Connery. Mm-hmm. You know what I mean? Like I, I don't think he was trying to be Bond, and other people were trying to also be Bond. Everyone was just being him, yep. and like he he's so good at it. He has so much swagger in this movie. Yeah. Like I was, I I knew that he was charming, and you know he was sexiest man alive a few times or whatever else, but. Some of the shit he does that is just kind of like on the DL, like he does like a little 360 spin around Money Penny's desk when he goes to M's office. Like he shuts the door (laughs) with his foot very casually without like looking at it when he's in his apartment. Just he's so smooth, like so charming, good looking, you know, just all the all the stuff, too, that felt like overt sexual harassment in the other movies. Like, I mean, look, I'm not the woman getting my butt slapped, but at the same time, you're like, no, that, that seems right. That was appropriate. I don't think anyone was upset. Like <laughs> Nikki was game for all of it. Yeah. She's like, I get it. It's <laughs> like, I also understand why Sean Connery was a thing. Because like for her, like she'd only seen him when he's old and bald and, you know, in his 60s. And he's like, oh, shit, he was, he was really good looking. He's super charming. Yeah. The three of you, which is includes Nikki's, are, are, are dogs. All three of you. Yes. You should be ashamed of no, yourself. No, we're drooling for him. <laughs> like, you gave him a pass at one point later in the movie where he basically 
threatens, he implies that he will choke a woman out with her towel if she does not take her clothes off and sleep with him. So is that a bad but thing? At, at the same time, I mean, Fire he's one of only two national treasures to actually come out of Scotland. You've got Haggis and Sean Connery. So it is impressive. <laughs> God, he's so good. I'll also say like, he's, he's my favorite bond of the 20th century. I mean, I love Daniel Craig, but he is like a completely different bond. Yeah. From yeah. this. It's, it's a, a completely it's a different character. Completely different character. Yeah. Yeah. Dude, this is, this feels more, I don't know. Um, the, the bond with Daniel Craig is more, more of an action movie. And this felt more, a little bit more of a like investigative drama kind of. Yeah. Like, yeah. Thriller. I guess yeah. you'd say. It's interesting too, because I mean, it's, it's so old. It's 1962 when this movie came out. It is wild to think. So I, I just, if you do the quick math on it, it's like the difference between this and how far away it's been. It's been 60 years. It'd be the equivalent to when this movie came out. It was 1902. That's crazy. (laughs) Did they even have video cameras in 1902 or was it still just flash cameras? Yeah. I I mean, mean, yeah, they had cameras. Well, they had cameras, but I don't think that they had like, I don't think you could do, they didn't do like motion pictures, even silent films at that time. Did they, did they have silent films? I think they had like the, 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 you know, you'd like roll it and crank it to watch it. Yeah. I think so. So they had the talkies yeah. in 1902. All no right, talkies, no, no. just No, no talkies. Silence. Right, silence. Mm-hmm, um, mm-hmm. Yeah, fuck, 60 years ago. Jesus, this movie does really well. I was I, I, yeah. I didn't pay attention to the year. I assumed it was like 1968 or something. Not that that's a big difference, but it just, like this movie came out, what, fucking three years before we even landed on the moon? Like, I mean. <laughs> that's wild. Six years. Uh, that's no, wild. Seven, seven years before we landed Not on seven the moon. Years. Yeah, sixty nine. We landed in yeah, sixty nine. Yeah. This is when JFK <laughs> was still alive and president when this <laughs> movie crazy. came out. <laughs> wow. <laughs> yeah. And like, it doesn't like it doesn't. And, you know, like they don't have cell phones, and some of the the technology is like a little dated. But it like it doesn't date itself with technology really at all. It's it's yeah. fascinating to, to think of that as sixty years old. That's the fun thing watching these movies. So I think it's uh, from Russia with Love. He has a car phone. And it's like, that is so far ahead of his time. It's like, wow, they actually thought about that. That's pretty cool. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> GPS tracking. And yeah, they don't have any gadgets in this one, though. Q wasn't in this one. Just kind of a bummer. Yeah. They just have that one guy who just says that, you know, it's like, this is what women carry in their purses. Like, <laughs> that's, that's it. <laughs> oh, yeah, that was a good one. I enjoyed that. Where did the does the tech come into the the second movie or yeah Q comes in yeah Desmond Llewellyn comes in the second one all right uh, yep okay well it's interesting because also this Bond version too at least this you know first take at it with Sean is he fucks his way to all the clues so yeah, he did so many women yeah tradition of just being yet. a sexual psychopath I'll mention it a few <laughs> times in this episode he's just. He's constantly thinking with his dick first and then the mission second. <laughs> yes. <laughs> That's the entire thing. It's hilarious. Multiple times he risks everything just to chase some girl who looks yep. pretty pretty hot. Yep. Just fucks his way to the truth, man. Yep. Just, <laughs> it's, it's something Instead to be of stumbling old. into it, he just fucks his way into it. <laughs> Emotional casualties everywhere. <laughs> and literal casualties. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Yeah. <sighs> It's a dangerous cock. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> That's all I got to say. Everybody knows. And with that, let's get into it. So we get the traditional barrel opening sequence, but in this case, it's just completely silent, which was a bit awkward. Yeah. <laughs> it was a little strange. Terrible, Weird. too. Like, I mean, it's a nitpicky thing, but I mean, the guy is swinging the barrel and shooting down like it was like the widest, slowest sweeping, sweeping arc. It was just awful. Awful. And it's- and it's not Connery, it's some stunt guy because Connery refused to do it. And they did the same exact barrel scene for the first three movies. And then the did fourth really? one, the fourth one, they're like, Sean, you have to do this. <laughs> <laughs> he was scared of everything. Spiders, everything. He must have been a pain did, in the yeah, ass. Yeah, why wouldn't he do it? What, what, was the, what was the issue? I think it was just extra to do. He's like, That's just, I don't think he was a huge pain in the ass. I don't work in silhouette. Yeah. <laughs> it's bad luck in Scotland to stand in front of a gun for longer than 10 seconds. I don't know. I mean, it's just. I can't look at anything that has a circle around it. <laughs> I mean, he won this role because he was an asshole. Same way Lazenby won the role. It's like he met with the producers because he was a no name model like Lazenby. And they're like, you're an asshole. You're hired. <laughs> oh, that was, that's all he was. He was, he was a model. He, that's all he yeah. was before this. 
I think he was, I mean, he'd done a, some stuff, I don't, but nothing of, nobody knew who he was. He was a no yeah, name. Yeah, yeah. Apparently yeah. He, like he just came in and was like slamming his hand on the table and like just being super demanding. And they're just like, great. <laughs> this is definitely not going to be a problem later when you become an actual star and we have to pay you. <laughs> so this is followed up with the opening credits, which is just a bunch of colorful dots bouncing around to the 007 music. Whoa, followed. sexy, sexy silhouettes. Very mm-hmm. sexy silhouettes, Max. Very colorful. With, with bongos, because bongos, nothing screams James Bond, like a fucking bunch of bongos in the original... <laughs> Like Apple iPod commercials. <laughs> it does look like one of the, does, the iPod God, commercial. Like, yeah. What the fuck? Like, <laughs> and then we get the three blind mice uh, Caribbean version, which is oh all, oh, at that point I'm like, is this the same movie? I'm, is this the right movie? <laughs> like, it, yeah. It it reminded me of um the 101 Dalmatians opening with just the dots bouncing around everywhere. And, yeah, yeah, yeah. I've yeah. unfortunately watched that a lot lately, so I know exactly what you mean. <laughs> this is also right in the time frame where, like, you know, with the older movies, fucking 30 minutes of credits before the goddamn movie starts instead of putting it at the end. Yep. Yeah. These movies, all these old ones, and then, like, they have the, um, the anti- like, the climactic ending, which takes, like, two and a half minutes, and then the movie just ends. It goes black. It's just like, wait, what happened? <laughs> that was something I didn't factor yeah, in. Though. Like, I was, I had like that, like twelve minutes left, and I was like, yeah, but at least five of that is credits. <laughs> fucking no, none of it is credits, of course, because it's fucking nineteen sixty two. They have to tell me every person who ever thought of being in the movie in the in the beginning. <laughs> so then the movie opens up in Jamaica, where these three blind mice are not blind, and they're actually hitmen who kill the SIS station chief John Strangways. And then they murder his secretary at his office, stealing several documents labeled Crap Key and Dr. No. Just establishing right from the get-go, as most good Bond movies do, that all black people are evil. Mm-hmm. Yes. Yeah. Except for Quirrell. Quirrell's Except okay. for Quirrell. But he's, he's an good. alcoholic. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. That's gonna be the, his stereo- the stereotyping in this movie was a little rough. Oh, Jesus no. Jesus Christ. Logan, we're talking about James Bond! <laughs> <laughs> hey! Sounded like the Hounds of Baskerville in there. You're I don't know what girl. that is, but I, I believe Sherlock you. Sherlock Holmes, how do you not know that? Oh. I mean, have you not watched any of the movies, the TV shows? Benedict Cumberbatch is delightful. BBC, come on. Yeah, Which I, one does, what, what? The BBC what quality it? is just so fuzzy and shitty looking. It's just, it's hard to stay engaged. What? Oh, you racist. I just don't. That's baloney. I immediately kind of get, like, my eyes kind of glaze <laughs> over, is, like, the filter is glazed. That is over. absolutely made up. You just made that up. You the can tell immediately quality. when it is British BBC, just from the way the camera moves. <laughs> I don't know what you're talking about at all. <laughs> that that is absurd. Bill, listeners, right in. He's done. <laughs> <laughs> listeners, right in. Yeah. Write the email address. Tell us. <laughs> British people, worse? tell us. <laughs> Speaking of British people, I am very happy that I had the subtitles on because I could not understand a fucking word that these three Brits were saying when they were playing cards. No, oh, yeah, I, that was the point I turned it on for that reason. Yeah. They're speaking I a thought, completely different language. I thought it was the booze at first. Yeah, I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> it was thick. <laughs> thick. Super thick. Yeah. Oh, well done. You have to live at this time every day, huh? Just like, what? <laughs> also, yeah. um, the Technicolor blood really pops in that scene oh. when the secretary dies. I think. This is probably the most like gory any of these Bond movies have ever been. I don't think I've ever seen blood in any of the other ones. That was terrible blood, though. I mean, it was terrible. It's ketchup. Yeah. 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 I mean, it was like it was like Kool Aid red. It's that Technicolor man. It did, they didn't God. have all the fi- all the uh, the shades of different colors back then, so it just made oh, okay. it super bright. <laughs> <laughs> we have red one and we have red two. Which red do you like better? That's it. We're new to this color thing. Can the red Only look like actual blood? Years. No. Mm-mm. We haven't perfected that yet. <laughs> you know the big red dog? That's what we got. If you want real red blood, you have to make it blue. <laughs> All right. Then we cut to a London casino where we're introduced to the swinging dick secret agent, James Bond, who's rocking a flawless tux with a cigarette hanging out of his mouth like a toothpick, who then uh, excuses himself to meet with them, but not before setting up a date with the fellow gambler, Sylvia Trench. All right. God. You know what I was a little disappointed? I mean, like, I feel like maybe a little bit, but the uh, the, the names here were not overtly sexual. You know, maybe yeah. a little subtext to it, but like, come on, slap me in the face. Call her like Volva or something. I mean, yeah. yeah. Wait until you get <laughs> yeah. the uh, Goldfinger when it's pussy galore. 
Right. There oh you go. God. That's that's what I'm about. That's what the I mean. best one. <laughs> There's another one like Octopussy a little Octopussy's, bit later on down the road. Is it's it, one of the movies. That, it's just titled Octopussy. That's straight up Octopussy. So <laughs> it's yeah. called Octopussy. It escalates. Yeah. Guess what Bond is after? Pussy. Whoa. It's a little <laughs> on the nose. So we were watching uh, Goldfinger last night and Bond, he gets drugged and he wakes up and uh, Pussy Galore's there and she introduces herself. He's like, my name's Pussy Galore. And then Bond just goes, I must be dreaming. <laughs> <laughs> he has a big smirk on his face. <laughs> oh, that's hilarious. Oh, dude, he's a bloodhound. He's so probably the, he's the sexiest bald man ever too because he was definitely bald in this. I'm pretty sure he had two pays. One that was dry and one that was fucking sopping wet and fucking pussy juice. Apparently. So, <laughs> there was a wet one. There was a wet one and there was a dry one. So. <laughs> I think he had his real hair for this one and I think maybe the second one but the third one he definitely had a toupee because it looks great. Okay. His hair okay. looks like much fuller and more quaffed in the third one. I'm like, that hair's fake. <laughs> Well, they didn't expect people to be able to go back and watch them simultaneously. Yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. Literally in like one night. Yeah. Where Where do you find one of these fancy establishments where I can go and smoke cigars and dress fancy and play cards, but not in a hipster way? Vegas. Vegas? Really? Yeah, you gotta, but you got to go to one of the high roller tables. You got to spend gotta, lots of money. You got to spend like nah. 10, 10K. At least. Nah, there's a place in Indianapolis. Because it's no, the only place. I'm not going to Indianapolis. That's that's out. That's all automatically. It's done. I'll spend, yeah. I'll spend 10k first. <laughs> it is kind of a wasteland. <laughs> I'm going back to Vegas next week. I'll let you know. I'll take a look around. Mm-hmm. You have an you have a gambling addiction. Just say it. Just say so. I got a Vegas problem. addiction. Yeah. <laughs> it's addicted to donkey shows. We know. <laughs> we know. I have not seen that, but I have seen a woman put a cigar into a certain place and then puff it. But that was an answer to uh, okay. okay. <laughs> Bro, yeah. Mm-hmm. Hell yeah. She yep. earned that money. Yes, she You're did. Goddamn right. That's wow. that's just impressive. That's biology class. Mm-hmm. That's what that is. That's something like, else. <laughs> with refreshments. <laughs> also, I like how the first time the Bond does his like name delivery, it's actually appropriate because the like Sylvia Trench introduces herself. She's like Trench, Sylvia Trench. And then he goes, you know, Bond or James Bond. Like it it actually works. It's not I mean, they. It's not since this is the first one. It's like, oh, okay, that's where it's actually appropriate. Hmm. He it actually really he, bothered me later in the movie when he meets the like really late at the movie and when she, he meets the bikini girl on the crab island and she introduces herself with her full name and he's just like, yeah, I'm James. <laughs> Fuck you. Say James Bond. Just say you're fucking James Bond. It's the fucking title of the movie, you jerk. God. <laughs> Well, that's like when they first introduces his, sorry, John, when they first introduce his cocktail, they're like mixed. I'm like, mixed? He's fucking shaking. (laughs) (laughs) I'm lying. What is wrong with you? (laughs) (laughs) So two points. Number one, he only gives you his full name if he intends to kill you or fuck you. So that's exactly what happened right there. At the time, he was like, I don't want to do either of those. I don't want to think I'm going to see you for long. But the second thing is he came up with the Bond, James Bond thing off the cuff mm-hmm. after having a drink because he was fucking it up all day long. He also was supposed to say, I am James Bond. And he just kept fucking it up for some reason. Oh, wow. One of them took him out for a drink, came back. He did that. He changed it. And then, boom, that's what's been said every fucking since. So it was written as I am James Bond or something like that. And he did. Yeah. Bond, James Bond. Yeah. They are like, the, I hope that Connery is making royalties on every time they use that in the movie because oh Jesus my god, Christ, it's like that is iconic for these things. I mean, you know, immediately, yeah, like you put on a, like a if anybody's ever wearing like a tuxedo, that's the first thing you want to say in the mirror. It's true. It's <laughs> a very James good. Bond. I am James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, I am James Bond. Who are you? <laughs> Please, citizen, Smooth. do not resist. <laughs> Where are you Bond. going? <laughs> Please come All back right. to my room with me. I am James Bond. Please. I am James Bond. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Then at MI6 headquarters, we have Bond flirting with Miss Moneypenny before meeting with them. And I got to say, Connery and uh, Lois Maxwell have great chemistry. There's some real do. sexual sexual tension here like she does like all the sexual tension or that shit all, any of that shit is like totally non-existent with any of the other actors like it's only with these two i feel like oh with him and money or him and money penny yeah or yeah money she penny carries that them. sexual desire just dripping to like what 10 movies 
She stays as Money Pain. Fourteen. Oh my she, god! She, that actress is it stays in it for fourteen movies from sixty two to eighty five. She was damn, yeah. Yeah. damn. Yeah. dude. Yeah. You know those two like only hooked up when it was like you know James Bond season again. Like oh, we're filming <laughs> another one. They're like back together once a well, year. Well, they, they. I mean, then that's why. I mean, of course she doesn't have any you know real sex sex appeal or sexual attraction to any of the later Bonds because they're not fucking Sean Connery. So yeah, I mean. <laughs> How do you fucking and, come back from that? And to like claim one of Sean Connery's women, you have to kill him in hand-to-hand combat. <laughs> 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 it's like the elder one. <laughs> yeah, I'd say the only other like sexual tension that's remotely close is Daniel Craig with uh, Naomi Harris in like the new ones. And that is it. Yeah. Then Bond, he meets with them who says that he wants to know what happened to Strangways and also see if it's related to this issue that the Americans are having with their rocket program. Um, Bonds, the Bond seemed like a little jealous when he uh, was asking about, he's, when he's like asking about that guy, he's like, was he onto something special? <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, it, it kind of came across a little petty. It's like, oh, what's he doing there? Yeah. Yeah, he, he there, there seemed to be a I don't know the the back and forth between him and Q was uh, M. Well, no M M yeah was I don't know it was interesting it was like M just seemed to treat him like shit did not like him at all that's tradition yeah it gets worse as the, as the movies progress he gets even just just more crusty and <laughs> for good reason <laughs> yeah. it becomes riddled with just STD after STD his liver <laughs> well, his liver declines. I mean, there's one in, in, in like an ep, like in a movie or two later. He's like, "You're supposed to be tailing this guy," and said you fucked a secretary, and then you passed out, and she died, and then we had to cover it up. <laughs> it's a terrible that is, employee. That yeah. is a terrible bad. employee. It's yeah. not good. Not good, well. James. <laughs> bad, James. Go sit in your box, James. <laughs> Also, he just completely shits on him for the gun, too. I mean, that that whole <laughs> situation was just hilarious. <laughs> really Give me that, Beretta. I actually started to judge James Bond, too, there for a second. I was like, well, yeah, why the fuck do you have this little dainty little... It's like little paperweight sex toy. Like, that's what it is. <laughs> <laughs> like, little 22, like, seriously, dude, that'll give you, like, rug burn. <laughs> and he tries the little, like, sleight of hand to take it away with him, and M's just like, no, fucking put it back. Put it back down. No, no, back down. Wrong. That's the saddest mm. Bond looks in the entire movie, too. <laughs> like, several people that help him die, and he could care less. He has to put that gun away. Like, he has to give that gun back. He's just like, my baby. My child. No. <laughs> I got my first kid with you. Come back to me. He's stroking it. I've killed so many people with you. <laughs> no stopping fire. Don't listen to him. <laughs> Kissing it. <laughs> Also, M says that there's been a 40% drop in casualties or double O uh, casualties. So, like, how many double O agents are there then? That is a rough statistic. Yeah. I yeah. mean, there's a lot of numbers after zero, right? <laughs> like, they got to have a bunch out there. They have, like, I double O 117? Like, <laughs> well, well, I think well, at that point, that, or, just... or I mean, like, you know, the double O's, they just replace them with some new 22 year old and he gets shot in six months. So they replace that one again. Mm. It's just, it's like, it's like, uh, you know, the same model that McDonald's has, just high turnover rate, except the deaths instead of just no shows. Just I wonder when they up. hang up the jerseys. <clears throat> like, oh, we're going to retire double O three. Burn. He did a lot. Burr. He pleased the queen for many years. Don't you ask. You get like, like the biggest, fanciest golden watch at five years. Like, wow. Good for you staying alive. Good. Very impressive. Well done. <laughs> Gets shot as he's accepting the, the watch. <laughs> ah, what a good run. Good well, run, we can least, dead guy. At least we can save some taxpayer money on this watch. Just, just give it back. <laughs> Maybe the next 008 will make it. What's Don't that? He's, the he's dead? <laughs> Shit. <laughs> So Bond's in a hurry, and he heads back to his apartment to collect his things, where he finds Sylvia Trench in his bedroom playing golf with just a t-shirt on. So Bond tells her that he only has time for a quickie before heading to the airport and throwing her in the trash. She was supposed to be naked, and they wouldn't let them do that, and that's upsetting. Oh, really? Oh, really? Yeah. That's supposed bummer. to be way more bush in this, in this movie. <laughs> in this PG <laughs> movie. Yeah, like... 
the sixties weren't quite groovy enough. I don't know what happened, but I'll, I'll say, I'll say a little playing a little putt putt and just a long t- t-shirt that did work for me. That was fine. Mm-hmm. I was okay yep. with that. Uh, Sylvia Trench also had some, a fantastic eyebrow game, like, like <laughs> on par with the rock, the rock must've learned it from her. So like yeah. she kept, she kept just turning and raising one eyebrow, like three, like three inches straight up her face is like, that does it for me too. I'm in, let's, I'll miss my flight. <laughs> Don't is get another your, one. Is this your peacocking? I guess you just you you raise one eyebrow and that just immediately means I need to have sex with you. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> oh my god! Do it again. Do it again. Ooh. <laughs> <laughs> Tell me, does the other eyebrow go up? <laughs> <laughs> so she makes a cameo in the beginning of For Russia with Love. So she's like the only like fuck buddy of Bond who like makes a reappearance. Does she oh show god. up back as Sylvia Trench? <laughs> yeah. Really? And he's he's fucking her in a boat on land, and then he throws her in the trash. <laughs> oh, shit. I thought it was going to be like an established Friends with Benefits. Why would it's probably like the first Friends with actress. Benefits ever captured on camera. So I, I looked this up the other day. So originally, uh, the person who uh, was Lois Maxwell, who plays Money Penny, they gave her the option to either play Trench or Money Penny because they said that they, she would get like a six picture deal. So I think originally, like Sylvia Trench was supposed to be in like the first six movies. Oh, gotcha. Gotcha. Yeah, it was kind of weird. Like, I mean, she basically ended up being introduced as like this named character that shows up in two different scenes just to have sex with James Bond. That is, she is. I, I kind of thought that she might come back as like somehow related to Dr. No, like spying on Bond early or something. Nope. 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 She's just getting fucked. That's all. Nope. Nope. Just, she looked good. Just in another one. Button down. Yep. <laughs> <laughs> So Bond then arrives in Jamaica and he allows this assassin to pick him up, which leads to a high speed 52 mile per hour chase with these two boat cars and eventually ends with Bond failing to get any information out of the driver who bites a cyanide laced cigarette. That did feel like a 15 minute long chase that also was like a Top Gun episode or excuse me, Top Gear episode. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, with the cars. Like a bunch of white men chasing each other in old cars on a dusty road. <laughs> Try, trying to get old shitty cars to go as fast as they possibly can. Yeah, which is almost <laughs> highway speed. Almost. almost. Very close. They'd, they'd still be in the, the right lane and I'd be tailgating <laughs> the fuck out of them. <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> uh, I gotta say, uh, su- Suicide Cigarette at that point seemed a little little rash it like bond had not tortured him at all like they had kind of gotten in a little bit of a fight which he had lost yeah he had asked him like one question he was like you know what this is enough life for me fuck it cyanide <laughs> apparently <laughs> jesus that Christ. was that was their first random attempt and it's weird because i feel like in other james bond movies like specter <clears throat> isn't really a thing but they make it a big deal in this one where it's it- like it's the big overarching thing you know, that's actually doing behind all the crime in the world ever. It's Spectre. So that's why this guy killed himself because that's how intense it is. But it was a licensing issue. That's why. So the guy who wrote um, Thunderball with Ian Fleming had the rights to, to the name Spectre. So they couldn't use it for the longest time. So when they made that like, you know, non-canon Bond movie with Connery in the 80s, they were able to use Spectre and like a bunch of other characters that they didnn't have the rights to. Uh, okay. Uh, Same okay. year their Octopussy came out, by the way. It was so the wait, other. wait, how did they use Spectre <laughs> in this one then? It was before they had um, legal issues. Oh, okay. Because okay. they hadn't fucked the guy over yet. Gotcha, gotcha. <laughs> also, money wasn't involved. Probably it's like, it's a new movie. It's like, it's and, not going to make any money. And, and then it made, the yeah, and then it made a yeah. shit ton of money and all these made so much fucking money. Like, <laughs> 80 times what the what the original cost of the budget was. Just crazy amounts of money. Um, what else was I going to say? Also, I, I like how then Bond, he drives to the hotel and he just leaves the guy, like the dead guy in the back seat and just like lets the valet driver deal with it. Yes. <laughs> like, fuck, Shut it's a dead guy. Yeah. You murdered him. Don't let him get away. Up. There's some He's stuff shit. Yeah. The guy's bleeding out of his face and dead. Yeah, <laughs> definitely dead, but bleeding out of his face. Also, they don't know that you're a secret agent, so they know what room you're in. They're like, this guy just dropped off a dead guy. Should we call the cops or something? <laughs> Just like scar this seventeen-year-old parking cars for a living. Jesus Christ! Yeah, that's pretty yeah, you can deal with this. You didn't have to put the guy in the back seat. You could have just left him on the side of the road where he was already dead. Propped him up like it's a weekend at Bernie's or something. Yeah. <laughs> yes. Yeah. You didn't even have the decency to put sunglasses on him. 
<laughs> I wish like as James is walking away with the dead guy at the back of the car, he just says like, you can have all the money in the pockets. Like, fuck. <laughs> Or just Keep do what the, you uh, find. Or just do the Schwarzenegger commando line of, he's dead tired. <laughs> <God>. <laughs> so then Bond <clears throat> learns that a Professor Dent was the one, uh, or was one of the last people to be with uh, Strangways alive. More on Dent later. Meanwhile, Bond tracks down a fisherman named Quirrell, who we soon find out was the guy that was tailing Bond in the other car, and he's working with Felix Leiter and the CIA. Quirrell's kind of a cool character in this. I mean, like, it's, you know, there are some kind of things that didn't age well about his character, but, like, it, overall, he was good. The, uh, yeah. the scene in, when they show Bond in his hotel room without, uh, without like, the, the coat on, and you see, like, the pants that are, like, just below his nipples, it's like, wow, what a look the <laughs> 1960s had going on. That was just fascinating. Like, yeah. 75% of his body was under those pants. And no belt either. And That's no belt. It's, <laughs> it's like all a, true. It's a fucking fashion statement. But the loops are still there. Why? We don't know. Yeah, how does this stay <laughs> like, up? <laughs> I mean, if you get a good beer gut, maybe you can just put it above the gut and then that'll hold it. But I don't know what Sean yeah. Connery's got going on. <clears throat> yeah, you know he's, he's probably got an old, like, kind of fat man strength. The 60s love that. They would have been yeah. all about it. <laughs> um, also, do yourself a favor sometime and Google Sean Connery bodybuilder because he finished in third place in the Miss Universe contest in the 50s. He used to be a bodybuilder. Really? Yeah. Sean? Yeah. He was fucking rail in thin the 50s. In yeah, and then you see pictures of him. He like looked like the statue of David. Like he was he looked like a modern day action hero when he was a bodybuilder. That's crazy. Mm. Yeah. Wild stuff. Also, Felix uh, Leiter rocking some uh, woman sunglasses. In this Jesus Christ. Fuck, no. Who told him that that was okay to wear? Really? Like, the first American you see has on fucking Willy Wonka glasses. <laughs> Ew. And, hello. You, and you're forced to take him seriously throughout the movie after that. Like, you cannot see it. Yeah. Nope. <clears throat> that guy will later uh, be the star of Hawaii Five-0 for 12 years. That's you. <laughs> okay. Jack Lord is his name. Because it makes sense. Yep. He just showed up on set from auditioning for a role for that with those glasses. <laughs> so then Bond, he meets with Dent at his office and asks about rocks. No need to go into details there. Long story short, Dent plays stupid and he immediately rushes to Crab Key Island where he's escorted to this really cool modern, like modern art painting of a room where uh, Dr. No, over a booming intercom, chews him out and says he needs to kill Bond with a tarantula. So, super cool scene, generally. Empty room, one chair, kind of ominous and, like, super creepy voice, you know, with just coming through the loudspeakers. I liked all of that. Choice of tarantula as assassin weapon, fucking terrible. Doctor No. How about a gun? Yeah, that would have worked a lot better. Yeah. Jesus Christ. I mean, also, that, that would have made sense. The chamber that he walks into that get, to get chewed out by Doctor No, it does like really scream BDF BDSM chamber to me, which leads me to believe that he gave him a slightly used tarantula to then go kill. James Bond. <laughs> it's not even like a fresh tarantula. Like <laughs> it's been stained. It's been stained with the sin of a human being already. Like it's just like <laughs> he holds it with his gimp hands to try and like, you know, kind of sexually appease his partners. Yeah. <clears throat> By the way. So yeah, that's uh that's Connery. Holy shit. Wow. Yeah, he's fucking It's ripped. like an anorexic uh, Schwarzenegger, basically. I mean, it's the same contest that Schwarzenegger won the Miss Universe. Mr. Fuck Universe, no. I mean. Yeah. That's kind of weird. Yeah. I wonder if they Eiffel Towered someone together. Probably. Yes. Yeah. I think so. <laughs> if he's anything like Lazen B, then definitely. <laughs> <laughs> I like the attitude, Jets. Mm-hmm. <laughs> By the way, Bill, how'd you feel about all these spiders? <laughs> I wasn't a big fan. I wasn't a big yeah. fan of that at all. Oh, God. Let me ask you. There was a there was a point. I, I couldn't decide. It, it kind of seemed like uh, there were some times where it looked like the spider was very, like, was real. It was real, but, it, like, it was actually on him. And then there was, like, one scene in particular where, like, it, you could, it seemed like you could clearly tell it was walking on a pane of glass above him. And that's what that's, they did. Yeah. yeah they, they had, like, an angled, uh, like, glass plane that like was right against like Connery so then the thing could just climb right up on him it was it, I would say 90% of the the, the the scenes it was perfect but there was mm. just one where I was like that leg 
isn't on Connery, but it is down. <laughs> That's something's wrong there. Because of course I was watching it with hypervigilance, hyperventilating, and like you know, so that might have had something to do with it. But. It's breaking out, just having yeah. hot, breaking into hives, just like freaking the fuck out. Spiders everywhere. No, uh, spiders. I handled it fine. I only woke up twice with night terrors that night. So. <laughs> only punched Sam once. I also like how, how much. Sorry, go ahead, John. No, I was just going to ask him how much money it would cost to get him to watch Arachnophobia. No. <laughs> no. Or, All right. Or to do the the Daniel Stern Home Alone and just put it on his face. No. Also, no. Oh, God. Oh, Bill would make the same one. scream. I don't know if I would make it to a scream. I really think I would probably pass out. I probably would piss myself. It would just, it would be ugly. And has anyone ever put a fake spider on you in, in your sleep? Or did you wake up and kill the one No one would ever, right? ever. That's a bad idea. No. That's really <laughs> not a good idea. You, you, don't know, you don't know Bill the way we know Bill, John. Oh, boy. And Sleepy Bill, Sleepy Bill, it just first first thought is violence. So that's <laughs> the worst idea possible. Unless you want two black eyes and like a broken nose. <laughs> no. I mean, you could, you, like if I was awake and sober, you might get away with it where I like, I know I can't hit you. Like, so I laugh, but I'm very angry. Drunk or tired? No. Bad move. Bad move. Or under the age of 12. <laughs> I'm actually kind of scared because you're smiling as you're listing off like all the reasons it's a bad idea and that whoever does it will end up in the hospital. <laughs> as, as. Well, let's not get into that. That's irrelevant. No. 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 <clears throat> so... After this, we have Bond thinking he's going to be getting a, a booty call from this nosy secretary named Miss Taro, which leads to another car chase where the bad guys drive off a cliff and blow up. So Bond arrives to her place and realizes that it was a setup, but Bond being the sexual psychopath that he is, bangs her anyways, and then calls for the cops to arrest her, checks his watch and realizes he can still get it in again, so he fucks her for a second time before throwing her in the trash. <laughs> Makes full eye contact as he closes the door to the car to the cop car. The, sec- <clears throat> the second in. he walks out of that room and she's she's eavesdropping, he knows already that she's yep. in with Doctor No. And he's just like, "Well, I might as well fuck her while I'm at it. I might as well come inside of her twice in the next hour." <laughs> just, what the fuck, dude? <laughs> oh my god! The fact that he looked at his watch, he's like, "I still got time." Yeah. <laughs> He wasn't even looking at his watch for the assassin. He was looking at the watch for the cop to show up. He doesn't give a shit. A fucking sociopath. Like, there's a point in one's life when you're that kind of person where there's a fork in the road. You can either be the president or you can be a James Bond character. Like, just, that was probably the funniest, like, non-comedy sequence of this, of this movie. Yeah. It's just like, oh just like what the fuck? No shame. <laughs> you, piece of, you piece of shit. <laughs> Um, also, Miss Tara was one of two actors in this movie in Yellow Face. She was not Asian. She oh, was no. Irish, English, and French. Um, <laughs> so my initial note here, just to know where I was in the movie, was fake Chinese girl in a zip-down towel dress. <laughs> That's rough. Uh, is it worse <laughs> that I didn't notice? No. Okay, excellent. Yeah. No. Um, but did you notice that he sucked the water out of her towel when she turned around? Yes. The, the fuck, was, fuck that? was that? I, I thought was, he just smelled it. I no, saw him do that. I was like, are you, are you thirsty? Oh what is yeah. that? We, we rewound it. Because like, Nikki was like, what the fuck? And I'm like, what? And he just sniffed it. He's like, no, he was sucking that towel. We rewound yeah. it. Like, what the fuck? He like bunches it up in his mouth and yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was really How fucking you- weird. How dehydrated is he from all the fucking scotch whiskey he's been drinking? Is, is that how he just has to get himself revved up because he, know, he knows this girl's either going to go to jail or he's going to kill her? He's <laughs> like, I need some of your insides inside of me before I put mine inside of yours. Gross. Jesus Gross. I didn't like that at all. Oh, I could have done without that analogy. That is, Nobody wants to hear my inner thoughts. That makes me feel weird. Okay. I'm, I'm a secret agent. <laughs> My uh, methods. License to fuck. Yep. License to do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> uh, yeah, so then the next hitman, who is Professor Den, arrives at Taro's apartment and fires six rounds into the bed. But it's a trap! And Bun Lee, uh, Jesus Christ, and then Bun learns that these uh, rocks are radioactive before he just 
kills a dude and shoots him in the chest and the back. Knee in the back. Yeah, that was a thing. Um, what what the fuck is this professor? I mean, Dr. No, why are you sending a professor of geology, <laughs> of geology of all things, to kill a secret <laughs> agent from, from you know, I mean, I don't know. Uh, and he, he, you know, he doesn't do a terrible job. He shoots a pillow, but six shots that seem to hit, <laughs> hit the pillow. So that's pretty good. I probably wouldn't do that well. But then he tries to pull a move where he's sneaking the gun to himself from the rug. I know. You're not <laughs> fooling like, anyone with that. I, no. And Bond already knows that he already went through all like all of his bullets, so he doesn't give a shit. Yeah. Which was the most cold blooded thing too. When he goes, "It's a Smith and Weston, You've had your six, and then just shoots and kills him. <laughs> Fucking, that is some cold blooded shit. Yeah, and the shot and the shot in the back was pretty dark was, as well. That was yeah, that was the extra nasty part of it. That's what that post not clarity will do to you twice. I mean, <laughs> one bullet for every time I just fucked your secretary. <laughs> <laughs> I yeah, mean, he, he did rack up a hell office, of a list. He? I didn't even think about that back <laughs> yeah. to back. He wow. wound it up. Yeah, because he had like, what, four whiskeys, yeah, mm-hmm. two rounds in the bedroom, and then a game of solitaire, and then got to kill a man. Like, yeah. that's a good night. Probably like 27 that's... cigarettes in between. Oh, my God, I know. And, and a little bit of shower swass as well, just to top mm-hmm. it off. Mm. Yep. Mm. Mm. He also killed several people before he got there. <laughs> it's a hell of a day for him. Yeah. Wait, 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 was that the car chase? Yeah. Yeah. Right. Yep. Good stuff. Busy day. I've killed six people and fucked one person twice today. <laughs> he 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 uses he gets full use out of that license to kill, and it's not like an unused library card. Yes, he, he does. leans on it heavily. Yes, he just he has like a license to shit where he eats. Like everywhere he goes, he just fucks and kills everything. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, Mary and then goes kill. to the bar. Like what, yeah, what the fuck? I'll take all three. <laughs> boom, boom, boom. <laughs> Can I can I skip Mary and fuck and kill one of them? <laughs> what if I kill and then fuck him? No, 007, that's not part of your license. Okay, okay, I'll fuck him then kill him. <laughs> I get bored. <laughs> Just so many games of poker I can win and so many women I can fuck in one day. Very particular needs, the Scottish. <laughs> So then Bond and Quirrell. By the way, we haven't mentioned how Connery says Quirrell in this. I was just laughing every single time. Just Quirrell. 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 <laughs> it is funny that that strange little island that the UK uh, is inside of, none of them could say any any of that sound. Like that and squirrel. They can't do it. Squirrel. It's like squirrel. Squirrel. <laughs> squirrel. <laughs> they can't do it. I kept expecting him to have a face on the back of his head underneath his hat. Mm. That would have been <laughs> oh fucking God. crazy. By the way, third Harry Potter reference in this podcast so far, so you're welcome. That's what I bring to the table. I, I, I'm counting the squib in the beginning. That's three. Ah, okay. All That's right. three. I mentioned the Elder Wand earlier. Boom. Ah, also, there go. All right. I gotta say too, <laughs> it was impressive that you did refer to yourself as a wizard when we were just talking before recording, and Max didn't say a word. I was very <laughs> impressed. I was like, <laughs> <laughs> Let's <laughs> probably think about how strong this beer is I'm drinking. I'm already fucking buzzed. <laughs> <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> yeah, so then Bond and Quattro head to <laughs> Crab Key, where we're introduced to the iconic bikini-clad Honey Rider. There's a pun name. Yeah. I like that one. That was mm-hmm. nice. No boobs or butt, though. No. And no. she is sucking in her stomach super hard that it was, like, hard for, like, I had difficulty, like, breathing <laughs> while watching her on film. I mean, I don't know. I thought she looked pretty good. <laughs> I, you know, she, you know how she was cast, right? No. Like one of the casting people literally saw her in a wet t-shirt contest and was like, you, <laughs> you're it. Like, <laughs> I'm dead serious. I know she designed the bikini. <laughs> did she really? Oh, she designed it? Wow. Yeah. Wow. That, did they end up using, is that like essentially the same bikini that Halle Berry comes out of? They're in a museum them? next to each other. Right. Oh, yeah. It's the same yeah. kind of a thing. Same, yeah. yeah, same homage to it. Yeah, Which is, yeah, that's a good point. I was amazed how many uh, Bond films would put these really subtle yeah, little nods to the original Bond film. Yeah. Because I hadn't actually seen this one before either. Um, but, yeah, no, Ursula. Wet t-shirt contest. Knocked out of the park. Also, her apparently, name, sorry, her name is Ursula? Yeah. Ursula. <sighs> Ursula. I think she's wow. like Swiss or Swedish. Does she or grant Swedish. wishes? Can she take my voice and give me legs? 
No, but apparently she can take your vital signs and fuck you because she was in a movie called The Sensual Nurse. So <laughs> that sounds like a porno. <laughs> Is that yep. on Amazon Prime? I do not know. <laughs> I will find out. I went to one of those <laughs> websites like where like a bunch of pop ups come up on your computer. You know what I mean? <laughs> <laughs> XX, just let me watch the movie. Come on, XX. Yeah, come on. This is for educational purposes. <laughs> Research. Yeah, my, this, man, my computer's dead. This, this has got to be like the quintessential moment in the movie, though, where Bond like risks everything. Like he's supposed to be hiding in the woods waiting for Nightfall, and then she's like, oh, look, a hot chick in a bikini. Just, yeah, Bond just, just on out. burst out of the bushes. <laughs> Hello, are you looking at rocks or shells? She's just like, Jesus Christ, who the fuck are you? <laughs> she almost stabbed him. Yeah. And he's, you see, like, yeah, a creepy Scottish man is singing. Like <laughs> extremely hairy, weirdly tattooed odd person that just comes out of the bushes of this island. <laughs> oh, oh god. god. This, I don't know, man. This just wasn't the sound of music, Sean. This wasn't the time for you to sing. Yeah. It just wasn't. Although he does sing in the beginning. I think this is the only movie in which Bond sings. He sings the money penny. Oh, he God. he sang to, just... to the girl on the beach too. He like yeah, he, yeah on the he beach. Picks up the mango mm. song. That's mm. how he announces himself as right. the creep who's been staring at her in a bikini from the wood from the tree line. <laughs> right. Like I've been waiting for you to bend down. They got that shell. <laughs> <laughs> so then we get a shootout at, on the beach, followed by Quirrell getting blowtorched to death by this mysterious dragon. That turns out to be a tank with a painted mouth and eyes. Uh, uh, <laughs> yeah, that thing didn't like shoot flames as much as it just kind of like it kind of like yeah, it yeah, farted flames out. It, it would be like <laughs> fire projectiles. And it would have to like rev up. Yeah, it was. Yeah, uh, what a fu- and like I mean that was that was a shitty way. I don't know if people in 1962 enjoyed that death or thought it was interesting, but I mean, that was like, that was very much on par with me for like the night, uh, the, the Austin Powers movie where the guy gets run over by the steamroller. That's moving two miles an hour. It's like, it's a tank, it's coming right at you. Still, still coming. Right. It's, it shoots 15 for? foot feet of flame. <laughs> you're 30 feet away. Quarrel. Oh, yeah. You're dead. Okay. Also, you're, you're firing a handgun at a tank. Yeah. That was a terrible plan, Bond. No. Yeah. Really all, all of it. Bad idea. Also, what, once again, so yes, to that to that point where it's like Bomb was like, oh yeah, 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 I'm gonna put you up here with a gun. You're gonna shoot out something, you know, out of a tank, a very specific small target, right? He's the most high functioning alcoholic I think I've ever seen. Coral, which I salute him for when he died because we lost someone. But yeah, yeah he's shit faced trying to shoot through a little porthole in a tank. I, I mean, Felix called it. He predicted his death. <laughs> Did he? He said like. He he comments on how 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 much he's drinking. He's like, if there is a real dragon, if he like catches your breath, you're gonna light on fire or something like that. Oh shit, you're right. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he did say that. <laughs> I just I I hate that. Like, yeah, it just that was a terrible dragon. Why why did they do that? You know, like, yeah. It's another one of those things that's a little distasteful where they're like, oh, naturally, all the people you know on Jamaica are gonna believe that this thing is an actual dragon. Right. Yeah. Exactly. Like, uh. All these dumb islanders that we own are just yeah. going to think yeah. this is a dragon because they never left here before. Yeah. It- and it's, it especially pissed me. Like, Quirrell was kind of a cool character. And, like, like the 10 minutes leading up to that, like, after they get on the island, Bond gets real bossy to Quirrell in, like, a uncomfortable yeah. way. Like, cover the boat. I'm going to go take a nap. You know, fetch my shoes. What the fuck? Fetch my fucking shoes. Uh, yeah, exactly. Yeah. Like, what the fuck? Fuck, dude. And he also becomes like a scaredy cat, which makes no sense because earlier on that that photographer like slashes his face and he With doesn't react. He's like, she he's like, you want me to the, hit her? She breaks the fucking like flash light bulb and slashes it across his face. And he's just like, he nothing. fucking smiles. Right. Doesn't flinch. And he's like, what do you want me to do with her? And then, like, they got on the island. He's like, I'm scared. Yeah. It's a dragon. It's like, this isn't the same guy. Yeah. Usually when you get drunk, you get cockier. <laughs> that was unfortunate. An unfortunate yeah. way to, to, to ruin that good character. Granted, he lived much longer than I expected. I thought he was going to die in the next scene after they introduced him. Yeah, that's fair. So give him that. So Bond and Ryder, they're captured and they're taken to a sanitation room where they're put on a conveyor belt shower to scrub off all their radioactivity because that's how that works. That's a, and, that's a that wasn't a terrible decon setup, I gotta say. I was I from my <laughs> professional experience, actually pretty good. That was not bad. All right. I liked it. Good. We have an expert. <laughs> 
I, I enjoyed it. I thought it was like, oh, well, all right, they're moving along. That makes sense. Different stages, testing, going back. All good. I like it. This is nice. <laughs> yeah, and then, you know, they're taken to their luxury prison rooms where they're drugged with, uh, with coffee. Again, he's just so trusting. He's like, he, ta- he gets taken in by that? this. Why would you drink that? Why would you he drink, didn't drink that? He didn't drink the Smirnoff earlier. He took a new one out of the, of, like he cracked open a new one, but he's like, oh, coffee. Yeah. Exactly. This coffee's doing the exact opposite of what it's supposed to do. It just like passes out. <laughs> <laughs> so do you think if like a, if a super agent or a super spy like does get drugged like that by a super villain, they think like I just got date raped by a super villain. Like that's about what's just to happen. Like, I mean, he kind of did too. Go. They show, they show Dr. No, like standing over Bond's bed, like tucking him in too. And oh like, God. Ugh. I forgot about that. You yeah. Know that he, he, he did some creepy shit before he tucked him in because he was uh, not in yeah. that bed when he passed out. Yeah. Oh, that's he true. Put he those metal hands a few places. Yeah. I'm actually shocked. He didn't wake up in the clothes. <laughs> Just fully dressed. <laughs> oh, oh boy! Oh, I wonder no. what kind of features those metal hands have too. You know, like what the different buttons: <laughs> <laughs> warming, cooling, vibration. Yeah. Whatever it is, it doesn't work well enough to hold Prostate the fucking pole. Exam. What? Yeah, yeah, that was sad. Yeah. <laughs> so the next day, they both wake up and they put on their tailored prison clothes. And they're introduced to Dr. No, who tells Bond that he lost his hands in a radiation accident, and he replaced them with metal ones, and he stole $10 million from the Chinese mob, and he later joined the evil organization Spectre after the East and the West turned him down. And also, he's half Chinese, but not really, because he's also he's, a white British man. That's what I was, I was afraid that's where that was going. <laughs> He's just a pissed off dweeb. He's like, no one wanted to play with me, so now yeah. I'm going to play with them. He's butthurt. <laughs> yeah. I got oh to say, Spectre, cool name. Mm-hmm. Spectre, awful acronym. It I, doesn't work. It's the, so. The SP is special. That is not how acronyms work. <laughs> <laughs> you can't just pick and choose the words and make it an acronym. It needs to be the first letter of every word. And it's just like. There's usually some feeling of connectivity and like it was just like special people, evil, contrarian, terrorism, racist, evil again. I don't know. Spectre. Yeah. You got it. Done. It was it's terrible. Yeah, I, I'm trying to just think of one right now for that, but they're just it makes it doesn't make any sense. <laughs> it's definitely they thought of Spectre first and they're like, we got to find a way to make this an acronym. And like they asked an eighth grader to come up with it because. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Super pone, extra cool, theatrical, <laughs> razor edge. Like nice. That has nothing to do with any of this, but sure. <laughs> All right, whatever. Whatever. We can use Spectre. Close enough. Cool. Yeah, I wish they just hadn't said anything, because Spectre by itself is like, oh, it's kind of ghostly or something. Like, yeah, it's creepy. That's yeah. fine. That's a name. Use it. You don't need to explain it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. You shouldn't. You honestly <laughs> shouldn't <laughs> explain it to your, your arch enemy, uh, Secret Asian. You shouldn't say what it stands for. It's like, we're an LLC. We're incorporated outside of the Caymans. Here's our uh, routing numbers, and um, here's all the locations and identities of every single person in Spectre. All right, you ready? So this is that Special Executive for Counterintelligence, Terrorism, Revenge, and Extortion. And extortion. And extortion. So huh, it should the be, end's got a nice ring to it. should be Speak Terror. <laughs> e. Speak Terror. Speak Terror. Speak Terror. <laughs> special part just that doesn't doesn't work uh, but i will say dr no he knows how to party um he first bond he gives bond a uh, a martini his his signature martini and he says shaken not stirred yeah and then at lunch he has a red wine and then he has a, 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 50, a 1955 dom Perignon afterwards which which bond insults him for because he likes the 53 better yep so cool after trying to kill somebody with that bottle of champagne <laughs> Might we add? And again, trying to pull the same sleight of hand trick with the gun from earlier in the movie with a with a knife. And like Doctor Nose was like, "Come on, seriously, dude, this is fucking yeah." He needs to go back to like sleight of hand magic school or something because he's not. It's not working for him. He's not up to snuff, dude. He shouldn't have passed. Like- <laughs> <laughs> So, uh, Hold yeah, on, then I, Dr. One, no. One sec, one sec. Yeah. I, my cat is scratching at the door, so I got to let the pussy in. One sec. <laughs> I have returned. Yeah, Bill, since 
It's my boy over there blending into the uh, into oh, the blanket. How sneaky! Come on, come on up. Yeah. Come on up, Leroy. Here he earlier, is. Earlier, when I was fumbling oh, on my words, it's because he was in between my legs under the table, fucking up, fucking with my microphone. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, this is the most important thing to you right now. Let me fuck it up. Yeah. Oh, what you doing? Are you talking? Let me just uh, disconnect that real quick. (laughs) So we have, I have to say. Is it right here somewhere? We've gotten. So he is a good, he's a killer. It's a problem. Um, it's It's a good thing and a bad thing. So he has killed many birds. I wouldn't say many, but like uh, enough that it's a problem. That'd be great for for um, and, festive uh, things. <laughs> like he's brought in like a chipmunk to the house one time that he mm. was going to play with in the house and it was alive. He's brought in a <laughs> few like like moles or foals or whatever. But we also like lent him out to my mother in law and he like he killed like three mice in a week in her house because she was having a little bit of a mouse problem. So like that's cool and all, but the birds. Not cool. We like the birds in the yard. So we, we got him this thing called like a bird be gone collar. And it's basically just like this giant, poofy, striped, colorful, like jester's <laughs> collar. He doesn't like it. He's not a big fan. <laughs> <laughs> but it's supposed to be like, you know, it's very colorful and popping. So like the birds can see it easily. It makes it hard for him to sneak up on him. <sighs> it is a bloody mess trying to get that on him. I, I need your cat for my house. Just I, can I borrow him for like a week? Yeah. Because our like our development, just because there's no predators here, it's just fucking infested with shit birds. Like the ones that like make those really shitty like muddy nests that just like <laughs> in like our um, little you know breezeway in the front or whatever. Like they have columns and for some fantastic reason the architects here they thought it would be great to just have it be a platform so it just rests so they all want to just nest in there so i have to put i've had to like make like like just (laughs) i've had to take nails and just put them into like with uh like scotch tape in a little platform and stick them (laughs) on the corners (laughs) and i put like mirror like it's just it's fucking ridiculous i feel like you have to be careful though if you're going to bring in a cat from, from Maine, that's like black ops. Like it's going to start, it's going to accidentally, like there's going to be collateral damage is how I'm going to refer mm. to it. Like children mm. are going to start going missing. Like I don't know if Tennessee can handle a cat from Maine. You open Pandora's box. <laughs> yeah. Then, then you got to get a dog from Maine to hunt the cat. And it's this whole cycle that you start oh, yourself God. at yeah. that point. Spirals out of control. Right, Before yeah. you know it, you got just like live grizzly bears. So you get the wolves, <laughs> just roaming and you the streets. Get the bears, like, yeah. you end up with moose, and then you get real people. And you don't want to bring people from Maine down to Tennessee. They're gross. <laughs> <laughs> oh, they fit in down here. <laughs> well, that's true. <laughs> um, where are we? Let's see. Yeah, so Dr. No, he asked Bond uh, to join Spectre, but Bond refuses. So he's beaten up and thrown into a prison cell while Dr. No suggests that his goons are going to gang rape uh, Honey Rider. Yeah. Yuck. Yeah, a little flash of darkness there again. They sure keep was. popping those in throughout the film where it's like, Ooh. yeah, <laughs> Oh, yeah, exactly. There's, it's kind of like a fun, you know, there's dark things really happening in this world, but it's kind of generally a fun ride. And then it's just like, yeah, the guards are going to enjoy her. Oh, oh. God. <laughs> That's not good. Bond's like, no, I haven't fucked her yet. <laughs> That's the only reason why he was upset. Son of a bitch, I got her first. <laughs> I, haven't had, I haven't had my turn yet. Find those keepers. <laughs> this is my clam diving bikini clad woman. <laughs> so the bond, he then uh, wakes up in the cell and he sneaks into this 30 foot wide vent and he steals a radiation suit. And then he just hangs out in this control center for a bit while uh, until Dr. No just tells him to go to a station. So Bond just strolls over there and then he cranks the dials to meltdown mode. <laughs> uh, so, I mean, crawling through that pipe, he gets he gets hit with like a <clears throat> random wash of water. That's 100 percent coolant water from the nuclear power plant. Right. And he's like he's going to end up like an extra from Chernobyl. <laughs> yeah, it's, it's going to just be the uh, like wasn't in that movie. I forget. The he Toxic gets, Avenger. <laughs> he's just like he's got one eye on his forehead, the other one like in his chin. He gets back to he gets back to M, and he's just got skin like slothing off of him onto the ground. <laughs> I'm fine. Hello, Miss Money Penny. Oh my god! <laughs> <laughs> tries, tries to throw the hat. His hand just falls off. <laughs> it's the, his whole scalp goes with it. I need oh, I need some of those Doctor No gloves. <laughs> 
for everything. They definitely <laughs> we're, look like we're not concerned about radiation or even seem to be even that aware of what the fuck it actually meant between, yeah, like the radioactive toilet water that he gets splashed with to like, oh, I'm just going to blow up the, the nuclear reactor to get out of here. Like, I'll be fine. We'll just it, swim away. It's also, it's like, an, it, it's an air vent. Where's the, where's the radioactive water coming from? It's a fucking air vent. <laughs> right. Just floats over, know. slowly poisons Miami. Like, I don't know. Like, or just are you just like in that prison cell and you're just getting splashed with fucking radioactive water? <laughs> like, yeah, I don't know how those two systems like combine. Uh, there's no, there's usually no like water overflow into the uh, the HVAC system. Isn't that the point of like a ventilation system? It's supposed to vent out that kind of stuff, so you just don't get like sprayed with water. You know what? We need Tim on this. We Let's do. call yeah, Tim. Yeah, Tim needs to be here. Call him in. Roll him in. All Bring right, Tim, lifeline. just watch this two-hour movie real quick, and then expl- <laughs> we'll, we'll tell us this the one thing. He's we'll done it before. A consultant for, for his engineering. It's fine. <laughs> <laughs> he, yeah, he can just watch it. He can watch it on the podcast live. Yeah, that's fine. Like Robocop. <laughs> it's one of my favorite episodes because of it. it was just so funny. <laughs> oh god, so good, so good. I like where like Tip started panicking a little bit. He's like, "Oh shit! Well, I don't really know how I'm going to do this." And the, the guest was like, "Well, that's kind of how the show is set up." Max kind of tells you what's what's happening. You could just react to it. Tim is like, all right, okay. As he's watching clips as I'm talking. <laughs> yeah, like, right. I just yeah, saw that just part. Right now. <laughs> <laughs> oh, that was before uh, anyone was on camera either, too, so he yeah. could just get away with it. What are you doing right now, Tim? Really quickly watching clips right now. <laughs> Shut up. Or... I love the fake it till you make it, though. Fact. The, like the whole part of the scene Perfect. where he's just like standing. He's yeah. just like, oh, this seems like a good spot. And he like just puts his hand behind his back. Just like, standing directly behind Dr. No, like, <laughs> is this where I'm supposed to be? <laughs> uh, like, like me at every job I'm ever at. I'm just like, I don't. Uh, this looks like a good place to be. Nobody notices me here. Good enough. <laughs> I also like the other guy that's at the uh, at the lever station who like he didn't get the full radiation suit. He just got like a plastic bag, <laughs> like that's just blown up on him. It's like a Ziploc suit. He looks like the fucking Stay Puft Marshmallow he Man does. on a diet. Like it's just kind of like, brrr. especially when they have a little slap fight when Bond is trying to blow up all the cool it or whatnot. And it's like, no, stop it, no, <laughs> you're you're twisting it the wrong way. It's like a clear sumo suit, almost. Like it's just- it is. <laughs> and when that happened, I said it out loud. I said, "Does this suit make me look fat?" <laughs> <laughs> uh, you can be honest. Tell me. It's just like twisting little levers. It does nothing. Uh, that man totally has to pay money for sex when he gets back to the island. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so then, Doctor, no, we're we're, wrap, we're we're Jesus Christ, we're wrapping up here as I'm getting more Ooh. continuously more and more drunk. Uh, <laughs> <laughs> motor functions and verbal functions are starting to uh, deteriorate here. Uh, Doctor, no, he attempts to give Bond a power glove punch, but he fails. So Bond uh, gets the upper hand and then throws his handicapped man into a pool of radiation, <laughs> killing him. I just, the hands, I don't know why they thought that was so sinister, especially like, like with the patent black leather too, they were black and shiny. <laughs> so dumb. Like, yeah. And he can only open them like he had lobster claws yep. too. It's just like, <laughs> it's like the penguin. It's like the Danny DeVito penguin. the fucking penguin. penguin. <laughs> Honestly, uh, I would have noticed if he didn't bring it up. It's just, he's so, he's so, he's so uh, insecure about it. He's like, hello, I'm Dr. No. Don't worry about these gloves. I actually lost my hands. It's just like, I, I didn't. I I didn't notice, but thanks for telling just, me. I don't care. Thought it was yeah. I just thought it was part of your suit until you made it weird. You knocked me unconscious and made me wear this weird Asian clothing. I don't give a fuck about your gloves. <laughs> All right. So then Bond, he's able to rescue Honey Rider, and then they escape by boat right as this miniature set of this facility explodes. So, so a- just Honey Rider was like handcuffed to a ramp and it was going to be like what like high tide was going to drown drown her is that what we were supposed to assume there oh there was okay some weird stuff so, going on thank you for bringing that up because yes they were going to slowly drown her like i guess like a pirate did in like the 1600s or something <laughs> when the tide came up originally they wanted to allow a bunch of crabs to eat her alive <laughs> <laughs> so, so Bond would have walked into the room. There's just a bunch of crabs on the floor. He just would have. Oh like, my god! We just, <laughs> just like kind of kicks them to the side. Like, oh, dude, <laughs> no, this is still good enough. 
<laughs> it's not the first person I've fucked with crabs. <laughs> Lucky for you, I already have crabs. <laughs> Um, I saw at least three people in the scene do like a 15 foot belly flop into the water. Nobody could dive. I don't think any no. of the actors knew how to dive. Or like, or they, they weren't aware of how far down the fall was or something. Something was off because so many people were diving <laughs> off that dock. And like you said, like just straight, like, <laughs> yeah, just flap, flap, <laughs> flap. <laughs> I mean, like, all of the extras were probably, like, also squeezing in vacation, too, since they're basically, like, you know, in the Caribbean, so they're all shit-faced. That's all that was. Everyone's like, okay, three, two, one, go! Like, ah! <laughs> they, they probably lost a few people that day, too. Like, I don't know how to swim. Drownings. Fucking jump! <laughs> the platform's exploding, jump! Oh, God. I don't know! I don't know what I'm doing! Um, did you also notice the extra in the boat who didn't fall out? So Connery like does a double take and then he just shoves the guy out. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> just pushes yes. him out. Oh the boat built for like fifteen people and he like just decks somebody out of it. This guy is not like an evil henchman from for Spectre or Doctor No. He's just probably like mopping the floors. He got the boat ready. But, but that guy had no <laughs> idea what was happening because the other dude like kind of like does a fake hit and dives out. The other guy falls down in the boat and he gets up and like looks around. And Connor's like, "The fuck are you still doing in here?" Just pushes him out. I get my guess is that he Sean probably actually hit that man. He's he, probably actually very upset with him. He de- yeah, I'm sure he did. <laughs> Connery seems like the kind of guy that would go for the real punch first. Oh, I meant to hit you. I meant to pretend to hit you. No, you didn't. Oops. No, you didn't. (laughs) All right, and then to wrap up the movie and this 007 series, mercifully, (laughs) has lasted a third of the year. Uh, We have Bond and Ryder banging in the boat to pass the time because they ran out of gas. So then uh, Felix and uh, the Americans, they show up to tow them in. But Bond lets go of the rope and just gives everyone a free show as he plows Honey Rider one more time as the movie ends. <laughs> that also means he's about to call the cops on you or kill you. So she's not long for the world, unfortunately. No. Yeah. There's a cat no. just walks by the camera. <laughs> Hitmans. Cat also, like, bug. they're fucking in a nuclear fallout zone, by the way, too. That's oh. the other thing. They like, were rolling yeah. in nuclear waste for, like, days. <laughs> they definitely died. <laughs> <laughs> I pussy. <laughs> smell, smell his butt. You gotta smell his cat, butt. Cat butt. God damn, can I get a picture before you <laughs> before he leaves? He'll stay as long as I won't push him. <laughs> <laughs> I'm here to stay, Dad. Good. This is good. This is good. It's fine. <laughs> is it good for you? Go it's back for another time. path. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, right. Here goes another one. <laughs> okay. Has Logan good. moved? No. Nope. <laughs> <laughs> Um, so also, I don't think Bill got to this point, but John, did you kind of like get a little like, whoa, when Honey Rider, she like gets on her knees and her like head goes directly to Connery's dick before the movie ends? Did you notice? Oh, yeah. No, no. And I I, both just went, oh. (laughs) So thank you for bringing that up because their cameras weren't good enough to where they wouldn't be able to even see what they were doing on that. I bet you she blew him on camera, but no one could catch it (laughs) because they were having an affair during the the filming of this. And the affair was only broken off once his wife was pregnant. Uh, Really? Yeah. So, yeah, she blew him on that. A wealth of knowledge. I my brain is a sponge these days. I mean, you're useless otherwise, but right now... <laughs> Pretty much. I can still barely put a full sentence together. <laughs> John's like, all I do is retain information and then I can write it down. <laughs> yeah, that's it. I can't actually speak it. <laughs> no, this yes, I nice. have the thousand yard stare. So I forgot about this one, John. It's been a while since John's been on that he always has like that, that extra in-depth trivia. <laughs> I appreciate it. <laughs> the, yeah, you're welcome. The extra fun part, too, is with me. You never know what's bullshit and what's not. <laughs> 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 yeah, I do find that like I'd say half the facts I use are like, oh wow, that's really interesting. Oh yeah, I just made that up. <laughs> oh, fuck, fuck, John. fuck, damn it, god damn it. <laughs> <laughs> All right, well, time for trivia. I don't have any. Yep. Look it up or ask John. Hey, we use a lot of <laughs> trivia throughout, and when I say we, I'm including myself very liberally. We use a lot of trivia in this episode. <laughs> The only other bit of trivia I have, which I just thought of 
and then I looked up to verify as a, as I was uh, walking the dog today is that this is the second longest running franchise and is the longest running English speaking franchise. What's the first? Oh, okay. You want to guess? It's, uh, it's not Jap- English speaking. It's in Japan. Friends. <laughs> Bingo. <laughs> no. What people don't know is that Friends is a Japanese film adaptation. Absolutely. <laughs> I have no idea. I have no idea. Yeah, uh, I don't know. Godzilla. Don't... Oh, Godzilla. 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 Yeah. That makes sense. Huh. Yeah, but I don't know, actually. Because Godzilla's got... I was going to say Bond must have more movies, but Godzilla's got fucking 100 movies. They got There's like, shit oh, yeah. They, they might have more. Yeah, they probably they probably do. Yeah, yeah. That just, that's just the stuff they let us see. <laughs> the shit they got. Like. <laughs> you got stuff you don't even want to know about. <laughs> My God, do you know what our cartoonists can do over here? <laughs> you want tentacles? We got tentacles. Do you like, want to see fuck. Godzilla orgasm from a tentacle? <laughs> Jesus! With this Chappelle show, you want to see him fucking ant hole? <laughs> 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 All right, box office game. How much did this movie cost and how much did it make? Mind you, this is 1962. Yeah, money, I don't know. I mean, it probably costs the same as like like a, a billion dollar house. So we'll say like $75,000 is what it costs to make. Yeah, that feels expensive. It cost we'll a nickel and it made a quarter. <laughs> yeah, and, and, and oh, it made... Uh, it could feed a family for 10 years on that quarter. Man, two hundred. Fifty thousand dollars. That's probably way too high. What about I'd you, John? I'd say it made, or excuse me. Well, fuck it. Yeah, I'd say it made two hundred thousand dollars, and it cost a hundred thousand dollars. So it cost one point one million. What? They that much? That much money existed? Like That's outside pretty, of the I church? Mean, they had some huge sets. Then? They had some big sets, they had, and they like filmed on location. Was, okay. Yeah. How much did Sean Connery's like million? cleanup cost? Like what? Did, what was that line in the budget? That was uh, seven hundred thousand of the one point one million. <laughs> <laughs> it was just all, all the settlement. NDAs that women had to sign <laughs> after the movie. Like, yeah, exactly. God. Um, yeah, so it cost one point one million, and it made fifty nine point five million. Holy shit! Yep. Wow. Wow. You know, it's, I mean, that means I was closest, so I win. I think it's that's, crazy is you true. fast forward two years later to the gold to golden uh to goldfinger and it made like 160 million. Oh wow in like 1964 yeah it's crazy yeah so i mean like like you've said before like they were printing money with these movies yeah that is a huge huge return yeah <laughs> that's crazy yeah premiered in the uk on october 5th of 1962 and then they had a big promotional tour in the states where it premiered <clears throat> on may 8th of 1963 and, um, they, let me ask you: Do you, do you think? Or do do you know if they expected it to be this kind of like big money maker, or is it just like, eh, we'll just make this thing? I don't, I don't I know. I mean, if you, if they were coming to Money Penny with like a six movie deal, they must have had some kind of inclination, right? And they also promoted it as the first Bond film, which is pretty yeah. cocky. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, like also the only other time that anything on like a, a, a actual screen that had ever been done was like a, the television show. Casino Royale, which was in like the fifties. Yeah. Oh, so there was a bond something, thing but I don't know how serious or it couldn't have been that popular because it took them several 10 years, years to do this one. Yeah. Hmm. Yeah. Is it essentially the same storyline as the Daniel Craig Casino Royale? Couldn't tell Not you. At all. Okay, couldn't, couldn't tell you. Tell me. You couldn't could have just you. lied right there, and I would have. I could have exactly. It. Yeah. But yeah, I respect you're you, off Bill. Your, you're, No, you don't. Don't lie to me. <laughs> I mean, lie to me. But because you don't respect me, don't lie to me about respecting me. You know what I mean. Fuck I'll, John. Well, I mean, I, I'll never trust him. Do the Connery so method. We know Come that. <laughs> Do the Connery thing. <laughs> yeah. But I did use the uh, the U.S. inflation calculator, and it meant that the movie would have cost $10 million today, and it would have made $575.8 million. Tidy sum. That's okay. It's not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Not bad. Nope. All right. Next question. Who is your favorite and least favorite in this? I mean, Connor is pretty awesome, but I'll say, I'll say, uh, pre Crab Island quarrel is my favorite. <laughs> uh, you know what? No, I'm going to take that back. There's a guy that's oh, no. just doing an absolutely crazy dance at the nightclub. He's just making like the warrior. They're the all weirdest. doing the twist. I for- yeah. 
I was is talking, that what it is? I was saying that to Nikki. Uh, it's like, look at all the extras dancing in the background. All these it's white fantastic. people in Jamaica dancing. Like, <laughs> yeah. <laughs> and, and me just being like, just too drunk at that point of watching the movie. I was like, you know why they're doing the twist is because if they do multiple cuts, it's, it's just going to be the same dance over and over again. It's easy. It's easier for them to do. <laughs> Way to ruin the movie, Magic Max, you piece of wow. shit. Wow. Unbelievable. That was, that was, it's, it's a great time to to take a cha- chance to mansplain to somebody drunkenly. Like, <laughs> Let me tell you why this is the way it is, little girl. Let me explain <laughs> some shit. <laughs> I get paid more than you. <laughs> you work harder than me, but I get more money. <laughs> 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 laughing at inequalities beautiful <laughs> love it love it it's um, just gonna get better for us Bill <laughs> <laughs> Roe vs. Wade's gone it's just gonna get easier and better for us oh fuck yeah never mind I don't wanna say that never mind I nope. was gonna say no, something. you don't yeah, need to say too, anything about that one step too far no. um alright least favorite character um God, I don't know. There wasn't this. I kind of liked everyone in this. Yeah, I'll just say the the C, US CE, a CIA guy. He was kind of useless. Felix. Yeah, Felix kind of sucked in this. He's been Fancy good in other Felix. movies. In this one, he's just meh. Yeah. Yeah, he, he didn't no. really bring anything to the table. No, no. Just fabulous eyewear for mm-hmm. no reason. You know? I take it back. The geologist. Fucking geologist. Just yeah. in general, <laughs> I hate geologists. Geologist. Fuck them all. So him, <laughs> he's my least favorite. There, done. <laughs> He's like like the the, the sub villain below the villain that Indiana Jones is trying to kill was that shitty geologist like. <laughs> um, my favorite was Sean Connery because he's lovely. Also, the only man who looks like forty five but was actually thirty one years old. He I, looked, yeah, old he was as our fuck. age. He was a kid. Yeah, he was our age, and this is all the people back then. Just they just aged a different way. <laughs> 27 palm malls a day, you know? Yeah, yeah. Just hang, he's hanging out in uh, casinos just covered in smoke, I guess. Yep. We'll do that to you. Just um, sunbathing without any sunscreen. <laughs> yeah. he, was tan- oh, yeah. he was super fucking tanned in this movie. The tannest, like, Scott I've ever seen. Ever. Yeah. Um, least favorite, Dr. No. He just sucked. It was just like, all right, great. You got metal hands, bud. Congratulations. <laughs> you make weird with, eye contact consistently. Yeah, with yeah. A, a with a big fish tank that's got a magnifying glass for, to be able to see all your fish to make them look bigger. Do you like my film projection water tank? Oh my God, it's just so <laughs> fucking stupid. Yeah, the reason why he was making weird uh, weird looks and weird eyes is because they had a prosthetic like Asian eyes for him. Oh, that's no. why. They put makeup on and make him look more Asian. I love how Atlas Shrugged didn't learn any lessons from, wa- from that crew watching any of these movies. It doesn't work. Mm-mm. Ever. So my favorite is also going to be Bond. And then my least favorite is also going to be Dr. Now. I mean, his, his, his master plan was just to be like a NASA troll. He's just <laughs> yeah, like, he's he's like I'm not going to really disrupt anything. I'm just going to make your launch kind of be a little more complicated than it should be. I want to be That's a just, nuisance. That was the thing that I didn't understand is like, what was the end game there? I think just terrorism, I guess, but usually terrorism is for a reason. You know, you're trying to accomplish something. Yeah. I mean, and then also like he could break gold with his hands and, and he could also hold a cigarette and smoke it with his hands, but he couldn't hold onto a pole to save his life. (laughs) It's like, so you have the, you have the thin touch of a cigarette and then you can also crush things, but just simple things of like holding stuff is just, you just can't do it. Also, if you're going to act like you're an Asian in 1962, you should have an offensive accent. <laughs> I was go disappointed by that. Yeah. Pathetic. Go all the way. Good to know you, you got, got standards there. That's good. Yeah. I like that. That's great. For <laughs> yeah, shame. 62. Yeah. All right. I want you to sound like Tim on this yeah. episode talking yes. about Asian people. That should be your goal. Unbelievable. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. All right. Time for our whole <laughs> ratings. Bad be judged. What, uh, what's your rating for Dr. No? I give this five tablespoons of sexy towel water out of, <laughs> <laughs> out of uh, one very loose bikini. Mm. It just wasn't because good. I, I, didn't, I didn't like the bikini either. You know, it just wasn't. 
because there was no boobs and ass, or you just didn't like. I'm it? not going to say if it was the body's fault or the bikini's fault. I'm not trying to put a label on it, Bill. <laughs> Okay. So, I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. Uh, oh, boy. Um, I'm going to give this movie um, one uh, uh, one scarred valet attendant out of um, the... Nope, that's too dark. Um, uh, say it. The, I can always edit it. <laughs> so no. Say it. no. Uh, Give it uh, to your hate. <laughs> <laughs> Let the hate flow through you. No, 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 no. It's it's about uh, what, what's her name? Honey Rider mm-hmm. probably being raped and then having sex with James Bond. There's no way to make that funny. That's gross. Uh, so we're gonna <laughs> leave that one out. Um, one Max. One mentally scarred valet agent out of the only twice two times that I woke up hitting Sam in spider terrors. <laughs> All right. I'll give this two yellow faces out of one sloppy 30 seconds for Honey Rider with Bond. There you go, Bill. <laughs> nice. <laughs> way, to, way to finish it off. Yep. Just the way <laughs> Jamesy did with Honey Rider. In front of the entire U.S. Navy. All right. So, we've been doing this series for a very long time, since early March. So, I did pull out uh, two pieces of, of, uh, or two or three pieces of information, just to show how much time has lapsed between us starting the series and ending. Good. So, when we started the series uh, to now, the price of gas has gone up a full dollar, nationally. (laughs) U.S. inflation has gone up 2%. And this is the worst one. We have had 210 mass shootings in the U.S. since this show started, or this series started in March. Woke. Where's the woke alert? Where's Tim? We need woke alert. That's just facts. Max, I feel like you should have stopped the series at some point, man. (laughs) (laughs) What have we done? Like, my God. What have we done? You should have stopped this. (laughs) We're causing inflation, we're causing gas prices to spike, and we're causing mass shootings. Jesus People are Christ. dying, Max. 210 in less than four Good months. Lord. We have Good to Lord. finish the series. The show must go on. <laughs> the people need their entertainment. Yeah, and we've also officially reversed Roe vs. Wade, so I'm glad the series is ending. A lot of bad things have happened since we started. We're going out on a high note. <laughs> sure. Good Lord. Yep, yep, yep. So that finally <laughs> concludes our 007 series. Um, <laughs> write and review? Yeah, right. Any yeah. social media shoutouts, guys? Yeah, I mean, we don't really use the social media that much, but, yeah, you can use it, do it if you want. Redbubble. Um, <laughs> Redwood stickers, you got stickers. You got some stickers. Put those. Buy some stickers. Um. On our side, we might take, just from recording, we might take a little bit of a break, build up some episodes, we'll figure out what our next series is going to be. I know um, I'm traveling a lot and Timmy's busy, you know, probably can't find his way out of his cardboard box. <laughs> John's I've handcuffed got, by his I've, anatomy I've, books. Bill is just in a stranglehold from his infant children. Everywhere. Yeah. I just keep procreating and I can't stop. Bill, cleaning up dead birds, you know, it's rough. <laughs> cleaning up dead birds. <laughs> Bill needs permission from his uh, infant children to do this show. Otherwise, they'll throw him in the chokey. So, (laughs) you know, we'll be back at some point. We'll have some fun theme to do. So stay tuned. Can't wait to see how fucked up the world is (laughs) after a couple weeks after this one. Just keeps getting worse. The world will be burning by the time the series is over. It's a fucking, it's officially a tailspin. Like, yes. Your, our next check-in is going to be, well, since our last episode, sea levels have risen 15 feet. Who saw that yeah. coming, guys? We, we've lost shit. all radio communication with the world. This podcast <laughs> is the only thing that's left. <laughs> <laughs> this will be our key to restart civilization with the English language. <laughs> Global economies and shambles. <laughs> Yeah, if, some, if this somehow leaks down through history, historians, I'm so, I'm so, so sorry. I'm so sorry. Mm-hmm. This, is, this is awful. Being a history book. This is not Joe Rogan. <laughs> <laughs> got that going for us. That's, that's, that's true. Maybe you should put those on their stickers. At least we're not Joe Rogan. 
hold my popcorn. I still don't know what this podcast is about. There's just a bunch of explosions and action heroes screaming in the background of this. What is this? It's it's not Joe. Rogan. It's not Joe Rogan. That's what it, I'll tell you. What <laughs> you know? What it, it isn't? Joe Rogan. What? It's not Joe Rogan. I think it's pure sex appeal. At least when Tim's on. Pure sex. Mm-hmm, 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 mm-hmm. Mm. Rain mm. review. <laughs> Red bubble. Red tube. Red tube. <laughs> Hold my popcorn. Search hold my popcorn in red tube, and you can listen to our show. That's how you get the uh, the visual of this. It's true. Mm-hmm. We have to stream naked. It's the only option. Yeah, unless it's against our consent. So we'll eventually <laughs> pull it down. But for the time being, you can watch it on red tube. 